Hello guys, I'm back with another build. And um this build is available for every device. It's about 210 megabytes, so it should be good on fire sticks and whatnot. Let me show you around. <clears throat> Here we have the stream section. When you go into it, you have three different streams. Let's go into the first one. Here you'll find different categories. I know some of you have been asking me about sports. You know, I, I decided not to put it on the main menu bar. But it's right here. Here you'll find your sports. Some of them work. Some of them don't work. You know, I'm not a big fan of live TV. Which goes out after a while. Alright. Here we have echo streams. Here you'll find sports also. And Cody apps. You have a huge list right here. But I did try this one out. It's um in the full list, art info. And um I tried some of these sports channels. Let's go into one. This is 720p. You know, whatever one works w works for you, you can add to your favorites. So that way you don't have to go through, you know, looking for a whole list. I've added some in the favorites just to show you. I'll show you that later on in a little bit. Here we have our movies category. And it's from our movie library. And it's just one click into this movie. <coughs> It's 1080. Here we have our TV shows. I just added some shows on here just to show you guys. Let's pull it from Specto Fork. Alright. Here we have all movies. In the sub menu, we have Zen movies, Exodus movies, Phoenix movies, Specto movies, and Salt movies. And all movies take you to the all movie database, movie database, where you can also add your movie to your library just hit the context button and add to library and for the widget this is popular movies also pulling from the movie database you click on it and it automatically takes you right here where you could find recommended movies Alright. Next we have all all TV shows. In the sub menu we have Salt Shows, Zen Shows, Exodus Shows, Phoenix Shows, Inspecto Shows. And the same thing for the widget, it will take you to the TV show um database. You could either hit play and you'll have choices from, from where you want to play the show from. Same thing goes with the movies.
here we have flex it's just a a list of different streams it's a huge list now you have your movie trailers here You just have a lot of different options in this add-on. And um, these are just, you know, the add-ons I added on the whole menu bar. I've added spec though. I just added a little artwork into there. Of course, you could change it if you wish. Just hit to the side, to the left, and you could change it. Same thing with Exodus. Here we have our Zen add-on. Here we have our U Music. In the submenu we have MP3 streams, Django, and Karma. For the widget, this is um new music video for the week. Let's, let's click on one of them. Seven twenty P. Here we have your music. If you have music in your library which you want to add, and your live TV, if you have a IPTV service or whatever you have, you could add. For the pictures, I have one add-on in here for if you want to download wallpapers called easy wallpapers say so you want to download it you go into it you select your size I normally choose 1920 by 1080 This is how the picture look. If you want to download it, you hit the context button and you download it. In fact, let me download it so I can show you like if you want to change the the wallpaper, I'll show you how to do that. Here's our favorites folder, as I mentioned earlier. If you want to add whatever link is working for you for sports or entertainment, you just add it here, you know, as a quick shortcut. You add it to your favorites list. So that way you don't have to keep going down a big list. Um, I just play this one. System as they get later into the season. I'm sure it's not true. As you can see, it's in 1080. Alright, here we have our programs. It's our weather. This is how it look. Alright, our settings and our power button. Let's go into settings. Go to skin settings, main menu and choose which item to display on the main menu. That's if you want to add one of your add-ons. You scroll down to let's say wherever you want to put your add-on in between. Choose video so I want it right below videos. 
So go to add and you choose your item. You go to add on. If it's a video add on, a music add on, or a picture add on, whatever you want to add, or we'll go to video add on. I'm going to choose salts. You have, you could create it here or you could go in deeper if you wish. I create it here. I rename it. And you could change your icon to whatever you want. I choose anyone. You have a choice also to customize your sub menu. You can select your widget. You go to add on, video add on. Since we're using Salt's HD Light, I'm going to use that. I'm going to select movies. You know, popular movies. I just give it a second to load up. And um, use as widget. Alright. So that's it. So we've added a... We've added an add-on on the home menu bar. And it's right here and we've added movies and there's no need to go hunt down for backgrounds because the backgrounds is already there it's for all of them whatever add-on you add to the home menu bar the background will also be there Alright, so let me show you how to change to your own background. Now let's go back into settings. Skin settings. Main menu. And choose which item to display on the main menu. That's if you want to put a background for each add-on. Let's say video. No, actually, it's the background option. You go down to background, the background path. So if you have a folder, as you see from the um the wallpaper, the easy wallpaper, you've downloaded your your wallpaper from there. You would just have to navigate to it. So you'll go to background path, hit back. Alright, I'm going to just take you guys to where it says external storage, right? So now you would want to navigate to where your, um, where your Kodi folder is. You will go to external storage or if you're on a different device, it might, whatever it's called, even on the computer, it might say, you know, C user and so on and so forth you go to Android since I'm on an Android device go to data org.xbmc.cody files.cody user data add-on data and you go to plugin image easy wallpapers and this is the wallpapers you downloaded from you go in there and then hit OK since it was only one download we did, so it'll be only one. If you downloaded multiple image images, 
it'll be more. To change it back, you could go to skin settings, background options, and then background path. You could just go up to here where it says user data, and then go to backgrounds, and then hit OK. All right, now let me show you how to install this. There's a link, the link will be in the description for a straight download and you um, install it through zip file. If you want to install it from add source, let me show you how. You'll go to settings, go in the sub menu where it says file manager go in there all right and then you will go to add source click on none and you'll put the source let me show you the link of the source all right this is the source I'm gonna leave it here for a little bit All right, you'll type it in just the way it is. And when you're done, you just hit done. And then hit you name it what you want to name it and you hit okay. As you can see, if you typed it in right, you will go in there. Just click on it and you'll see these items in here. All right. Let's back out of there. You'll go into settings. You go to your add-ons and you will navigate to install from zip file. I've named it Steven's Wizard, so I'll go in there. And you would want to download plugin.program.stevenswizard, not the repository. You want to download the plugin. So you click on that, and then you click on that. And it takes a little bit to download. As you can see, you could back out and go back in there. And you'll see it says it's currently downloading add-on. Just be a little patient and it'll download. Alright. So in the bottom it says Steven Wizard add-on updated. Since I already had it installed. So what you will do is you'll back out. And go to your programs. Go to your program add-on. And it's right here. Let me change the view. All right, you'll go in there. As you can see, I have a couple of bills in here. All right, so the build that I'm showing you is right here, RC version two, and it's approximately 210 megabytes and also make sure you do a fresh a fresh start before you download any build okay or um you'll you know you don't want to wind up with errors and stuff like that make sure you do it from a fresh start all right all right thank you guys for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're new Please subscribe.